What's up, everybody? It's time for a convenience store tour in Tokyo, Japan. Welcome to Japan, home of top notch convenience stores. These places have a whole lot of foods and drinks to try out, so let's go inside and give it a go. Now, what do we have over here? We got us some octopus tentacles. I'm pretty hungry, but this is not what I had in mind, so let's see what else we got here. We got us some fish action. Holy shit. I thought I walked into a convenience store, but this is more like a damn seafood shop. Now, this is more my speed. Here we got chocolate and coconut covered sticks. Looks like diabetes in the box, so let's see what else we got here, baby. And wow, take a look at that. We got some slim green tea cracker action. Next up, I see they got some Doritos in the chip zone over here. This is spicy curry flavor. I never had that before, so I figure I'll put that in my cart. What's next? It looks like we got some kind of cornbread over here, but this is not like any cornbread I have ever seen. Check out this text on the bag over here. It says delicious bread to make life happy, making the everyday better. That's a pretty inspirational quote right there. Now what do we have here? Check this out. This is a rare cheesecake pancake puff and I love myself some cheesecake so I'm definitely putting this bad boy in the cart. And what do we have here? This is a tad intriguing. It looks like some kind of starchy gelatin with mandarin oranges inside. I almost feel like I should buy it but I think I'm gonna have to skip out on that one so let's see what else we got around here. And wow, tapioca coconut milk pudding? These are the kind of empty calories I've been looking for in my life. So let me toss that pack into my cart. So what's next over here? Cream puffs? Oh my dog. Looks mighty tempting, but I feel like I need some green tea flavored action in my life. There we go, jackpot. We got green tea mochi, so that's going in the cart and I'm getting the hell out of this joint. So I just sprinted on back to my apartment and it's time to check these snacks out. So let me get those Doritos out the plastic bag. And wow, just fucking wow. Take a look at those Doritos, baby. I have a distinct feeling that these are gonna change my life. In fact, I think these Doritos are gonna transport me away to some mysterious far-flung land to the Indian subcontinent. So let's pour these puppies out onto a bowl. The hell, the damn things are getting stuck over here. I guess I did a shit job cutting that bag open. Anyway, let's check out these chips. Nice, look at that chip. That's a nice fucking chip right there. So let's try one of these bad boys out. I just gotta get one last glimpse at that chip. Just one more. Look at it, savor it, then jam it down the hatch. And what the hell's going on with this thing? It kind of has a weird chemical-y taste popping off. Let me try another one to verify that. Yep, taste is verified. This tastes like a mixture of Indian curry and Ganges river water. I guess on the flavor scale, I'd give this two out of five dogs. In other words, I don't recommend it, so let's get it the fuck out the way. Next up, it's time for that coconut milk tapioca pudding. Now I gotta say, I love me some tapioca, I love me some pudding, and I love myself some coconut milk, so this right here is a match made in heaven. So let's open this bad boy up. It's kinda hard to open, but I think I can do it. And what the fuck was that? That thing was pressurized to the max and rigged to blow, so I think this is a two-handed job over here. I'm pulling this thing, but it's kinda hard to get off. It feels like it's welded on or something. It's like breaking into Fort Knox opening this damn pudding pack. And there we go, I finally got it open. Did you ever have any doubt, sweetie buns? Now before I can actually taste this pudding, I have to clean that table off first. Gotta keep shit classy like that. And as you can see, I've got some pretty legit cleaning skills. Next up, I gotta unleash the spoon they gave me here. So here we go, the moment of truth. Could this be the pudding pack to provide me with inner solace? Keep watching and find out. And man, that thing is looking creamy. I'm jamming that spoon into my mouth and oh my fucking dogs. I can't even believe what I'm tasting right now. It's almost as though the pure essence of coconuts just exploded inside my mouth. I feel like I just had a shotgun wedding with a coconut and this just might be the best day of my life. It's just that fucking good. 
Only problem is it's gonna take a damn year to eat this thing using this mini spoon, so let me get myself a real spoon over here. Alright, there we go. That's more what I'm talking about. Now I can shovel these cows down my throat at high velocity, American style. After all, I'm a busy guy. I can't be sitting around with one hand on my dick and the other hand using a mini spoon at a snail's pace. I got places to be, people to see, and preconceptions to free, baby cakes. So considering this pudding pack was so good, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5 dogs. I think it deserves it. And now it's time to unleash a new snack. I think I'm gonna have to go for that rare cheesecake pancake puff. So let me get my scissors out and liberate this thing. I just gotta set it free and help it towards its ultimate destination, which would be my tummy. So let's rip this mofo out the packaging and wow, take a look at this puppy. These pancakes feel kind of spongy over here. Now let me explain this thing to you real simple like. This right here is a new twist on an old snack. I mean, I ain't no fucking expert or anything, but I think this is styled after a Japanese dorayaki. Now usually dorayakis have brown pancakes and they're filled with red bean paste on the inside, but this right here is totally different. This right here uses white pancakes and it's filled with rare cheesecake and I think it's gonna be real nice. Now personally, I'm a cheesecake fanatic so I'm getting pretty excited to try this out so let's give it a go. So I just took myself a bite and whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not sure if I'm actually registering this properly so let me take another bite. And wow, this taste has been confirmed. This right here is not only edible, but it's also fucking incredible. Those pancakes taste like they're made out of rice flour and they have a fluffy consistency. And that rare cheesecake? It's got a subtle bittersweet flavor that I just can't get enough of. Without a doubt, this snack right here deserves a 5 out of 5 dogs. I mean, it not only tastes good, but I actually feel like it's instilled some kind of mystical wisdom in me. It's improved my life in ways I could never fully know. In other words, nice fucking snack right there. And last but not least, it's time for that green tea mochi. Now, I didn't realize when I bought it, but apparently this thing has some white chocolate chips on the inside too. So green tea and white chocolate, that's a combo I never had before. It sounds pretty intriguing. And take a look at that mochi, baby. It's looking delicate as fuck. So let's get us a nice plate over here, keep things classy, and then let's get this mochi out of its container. Give it a slap. And next up, I gotta get myself a knife on deck, cut this mochi in half, and get to know it from the inside. Now cutting this mochi is harder than it sounds. It's resisting me at every turn. I feel like this mochi's got a bad attitude for some reason, but if it wants to get in my stomach, it'd best be stepping proper, you know what I'm saying? So let's scope this thing out. It looks like it's filled with pure green tea goodness right there. I gots to get that sweet, sweet matcha action into my life. So let's get that butter knife assist over here and whoa. This thing's pretty hard to pick up and damn, we got matcha juice shooting out all over the place here. Don't worry, I got this. I'm loading it onto my left hand. Everything's a o fucking k There we go. That's some primo mochi eating skills right there. So let's bite into this thing. So I'm chewing into this mochi and it's soft as hell, but it's punctuated by the occasional bite of white chocolate chip. Meanwhile, my hand is fucked and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with my life. Well, my hand is tainted already. I guess I might as well go for that second half. Might as well rock that green, slimy hand look with pride, right baby? So I savagely bit down on that second piece of mochi and I gotta say, it was a mixture of soft and hard textures. Now that green tea mochi part was pretty good, but I think that white chocolate was wholly unnecessary. It kind of just messed up the whole vibe of the thing, so I'm going to give that a 3 out of 5 dogs. Anyway, that's all I got for today's convenience store tour. So thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.